Hi, question number four taken from October 2002, Advanced Level Maths HSC S2. The number of accidents per month at a certain road junction has a Poisson distribution with a mean 4.8. A new road sign is introduced, warning drivers of the danger ahead, and in a subsequent month, two accidents occurred. First part, a hypothesis test at the 10% level is used to determine whether there were fewer accidents after the new road sign was introduced. Find the critical region for this uh, test and carry out the test. For the second part, we need to find the probability of a type 1 error. Okay, so here are the information. It, it follows that X follows a Poisson distribution with mean lambda 4.8. Our null hypothesis is that we are claiming that there, are, there is 4.8 accidents per month, but the alternate hypothesis is saying that because the test was carried out and the number of accidents, number of accidents were found to be two, therefore uh, our alternate claim is that um, the, the, the average number of accidents is less than 4.8, and also the test uh, uh, level is going to be 0.1, 10%. So if two accident has occurred. It could be one accident, all right? And let us find out what about two then, okay? Two accident, what is the probability of two accidents occurring? So that's gonna be then um, e to the power of minus, so we're gonna be using this formula, 4.8 times 4.8 to the square, all divided by factorial of two. If you carry out that on your calculator, you're gonna end up with zero decimal zero, Three nine five zero five. Oh, sorry. Um, zero decimal zero nine. Okay. Zero decimal zero nine four eight. Get across this out. Zero decimal zero nine four eight. Um, zero double six eight six. Now, what do we make out of this? This is almost like zero point one. So what it means that the uh, if we have to look at where the critical region is, we have zero, zero accident, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. 4.8 accidents are occurring every month. But if two accidents is occurring, then the, the probability is going to be here. So this is like saying the probability here carries 0 0.0948. This is almost like 0 0.1. So the critical region will be then below this two. So the critical region will be this one, zero and one. So here is the answer. So critical region, which is other in other words, the rejection region, is going to be where x is equal to zero or x is equal to n x equal to one. So that's the first part. And we need to carry out the test. So what's the probability of having no accident at all? It's going to be e to the power minus 4.8. And this one, if you work it out, it's going to give you a 0 0.008-2297. Just do it on your calculator. Probability of having one accident is going to be then e to the power minus 4.8 times 4.8 over the factorial of 1. So that's going to be then 0 0.03950 five and so on. Probability of having two accidents, we calculated that one, e to the power minus 4.8 times. All of that is going to give you 0 0.09480066 and so on. If you add up all these probabilities, okay, you're going to come up, add up, so you're going to come up with a total probability of um, 0 0.1425 4, 1, 7 and so on. Now this probability of having 0 accident 1 or 2 but not 3 because it is less or equal to 2 is greater than 0 0.1. Now what we should realize from um, from the uh, from this chapter that if there is a probability of x being less or equal to the critical region. If the probability of that is less than the significant level, then the HO is rejected, meaning that the null hypothesis 4.8 will be rejected here. We're going to accept H1. So H1 is a 
accepted. Right. So, so, so yeah. Sorry. I H O is accepted. It, it means that if it is um, less than the significant level, H O is going to be rejected. This is going to be rejected in case if it is less. But here it's greater. Therefore, H O is accepted. All right. That means it is accepted. The claim is accepted that the accident is 4.8 per month, but not less than 4.8. Therefore, we can conclude that there is uh, insufficient evidence to suggest that a road sign has decreased the number of accidents. Okay. Now, what about the second part? We are told to okay, find the probability of a type 1 error. A type 1 error is basically HO being true and HO is being rejected. That's an error. We reject the claim when it is true, and that's an error. It's a type 1 error. What if the claim is true? If the claim is true, then there will be no accidents. There will be one accident. And, um, yeah, that's it. So if these are the claims, then we're going to add up the probability of zero accident and one accident. So these two probabilities here. So we have 0 0.008229.7 plus... 0 0.039505 um, okay and you work that out you come up to 0 0.0477 so the probability of making a type 1 error is then going to be 0 0.04773 to three significant figures here we are for this question. I hope I didn't go very fast with this because uh, this part here, HO being accepted, it all depends on this formula here. If it is less than the significant level, then HO is rejected. But in our problem, it is greater than 0 0.1, therefore we accept HO. We accept that there is 4.8 uh, the accidents are happening every month, occurring every month and there has not been any reduction. It hasn't gone below this. All right, so there's insufficient evidence. Here we are.